Every day, more and more Americans join this fight to get money out of politics. And this weekend, we're joined by the Marjorie Stoneham Douglas High School students, Angelina Lazo, Dimitri Hoff, and Noah Diamani. Their small town of Parkland, Florida made international headlines after a horrific school shooting took away 17 community members from their community. And instead of becoming just another headline, these students have channeled their pain and frustration in a broken system and have inspired a nation of what real grassroots citizen-led action looks like. They're an example to all of us of the power of the American spirit and a reminder of the power we all possess to change our country for the better. So please join me in welcoming Noah, Dimitri, and Angelina to the stage. Hello, my name is Angelina Lazo. I'm 18 years old, and I am now a graduate of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. I'm here today because I am a survivor of gun violence. February 14, 2018 has changed my life forever. That day was when 17 of my family members were killed. I'm here today because I am sick and tired of seeing school shootings on the news and our corrupt politicians turning the other way and or refusing to acknowledge this gun violence epidemic. We elect candidates into office for the sole purpose of representing we the people. Their stance on gun safety shouldn't be, the shouldn't be determined by the number of votes or how much money they get handed to them. Gun violence can happen anywhere and to anyone. It is not a partisan issue. Our Constitution starts with we the people of the United States, not we the Democrats, not we the Republicans, and most certainly, not we the NRA. It's disturbing when people, especially elected officials, value materialistic objects more than life itself. For the people who support our law enforcement, don't you think compromising on gun reform would make it easier on our law enforcement to do their job instead of getting ambushed and or killed. Many think that opinions of people like me are trying to take away the Second Amendment. And let's get one thing straight. We aren't trying to take away the Second Amendment. Something people also seem to forget is that the NRA is simply just an interest group. It's not a part of government. How can we protect the citizens of the United States if politicians are worried about grades and money? Life itself is priceless. No amount of money in the world can bring someone back to life. We need to put aside our differences and beliefs and focus on making a change that will suit everyone. As citizens of the United States, we ha all have the same rights and we need to start acting like it. My name is Angelina Lazo. I am positive, I am passionate, and I am proud to be an Eagle. Thank you. Hello, my name is Dimitri Hoff. I am a recent graduate of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. I was on campus when the shooting at my school occurred, and since then I have been very active trying to change the policies in Tallahassee, my state's capital, and here in Washington. I have created, along with my friend and one of my former teachers, a nonprofit that was designed to promote civic engagement in American youth called Students Speak Up. I am not, nor will I be satisfied with the state of gun laws in our country until there are, they are strong enough to prevent the senseless acts of gun violence, such as those in Columbine, Virginia Tech, Aurora, Sandy Hook Element Elementary, San Bernardino, Pulse Nightclub, Las Vegas, and my school, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, and countless others that have happened since then. As children, we've always been told by our parents that we need to stand up for ourselves and that we can do anything we set our minds to. So that's exactly what we as a generation are doing. We are standing up and we are fighting back. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Noah Damiani. 
I am from Coral Springs, Florida, the city directly south of Parkland, and I recently graduated from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. During Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, Lincoln most famously described our American government as being of the people, by the people, and for the people. Our founding fathers held these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal and are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. I do not believe that it would be self-evident to our founding fathers that corporations are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. Indeed, the creator of the corporation is legislation as opposed to the creator of man. So why do we not recognize this distinction? A corporation's ability to spend endless amounts of money to support political campaigns significantly dilutes the influence of the average individual. Further, corporations tend to their own well-being at the detriment of millions of fellow Americans. Our democracy remains strong when elected representatives vote in favor of what is best for their constituents, not when they vote in favor for the few who dedicate the most money to supporting their campaigns. The tragedy at my school taught me something about American politi politics today. It taught me how ignored the general public feels, for nothing has changed on the national level since 17 innocent lives were taken too soon. The issue is, and always should be bipartisan, as it seemingly affects the entire populace. Money spent by corporations degrades the very fabric of our democracy. However, the decision by the Supreme Court has already been made, but here's the caveat. The people can reclaim their voices in this nation with a constitutional amendment. The passage of this amendment may seem arduous, the passage of this amendment may seem impossible, but the passage of this amendment is essential to protecting the individual's influence in our republic. Thank you.